This is pre-calculus, uh, topic eight. We're just gonna do a little topical video about finding partial fractions. Um, and by partial fractions, I mean like, if I have a fraction like this, and notice that it's over two factors, that denominator's been factored, I could rewrite it as two different fractions um, using each of the factors from it. And I'd have to find what A and B are to, to see what's equivalent to that. And um, you know, if it had three factors, I'd have three fractions and so on. And we're gonna use a, a method called the cover-up method. It's also called, I think it said heavy, it's pronounced heavy side. It was, a, he was a mathematician, um, electrical engineer, early 1900s, and uh, came up with this method and lots of methods. He's actually really interesting to read about. Um, stopped going to school when he was 16 years old and then still went on to do all this. So um, here is his method. Um, what we, we're going to do is we're going to take the, one of the zeros from here. So, for example, let's take one because one makes this this a zero. And we're going to cover up that part of the fraction. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll take the rest of the fraction and plug in that zero, plug that one into it. So notice this would be 8 times 1 plus 7 over 1 plus 2. And we ignore this part, you know, because if we, if we plugged a 1 into here, there'd be a 0. We'd be dividing by 0. And I get um, 8 eight times 1 is 8. 8 plus 7, 15 over 3. That's a 5. So that's actually my B value. That's going to go over the X plus 1 part. So I know that I have a 5 over X plus 1, a positive 5. Um, and notice, again, the thing that I get when I plug it in, uh, the, the number that I get when I plug it in is is the numerator for this denominator. I should have written x minus 1. Sorry about that. x minus 1. All right, and so then let's do the next one. So my, my next cover-up then, I would cover up the x plus 2. So that means I use negative 2. I use its 0. And I'm going to plug, plug a negative 2 into that. Everything but the part that would make me divide by 0. So 8 times negative 2 plus 7 over negative 2 minus 1. Uh, 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 7 is negative 9. Negative 9 over negative 3 is positive 3. So that is, I'm going to move this out of the way, that is the number that's going to go with the, that's the numerator for the x plus 2. And this was the numerator for that. So I already had written this one, 5 over um, x minus 1. I tried to write plus again. And the 3 is going to go over the x plus 2. And there it is. So this, this fraction right here can be broken into those, uh, this partial fraction expansion of it. Those are equivalent to each other. Um, and if I if I wanted to check, I could just go, you know, three times x minus minus one plus five times x plus two. Just actually do that, do that addition, and I should get that back. And you notice I do. There's an eight x. There's a negative three plus ten is positive seven. So that's uh, that's how you do partial fractions with the cover up method.